Hello and welcome to this template tutorial. In this video, I'm going to show you what does this template do and how to customize it. So this template is a game that when you tap and swipe, you can see you drawing these platform that allows you to bounce the ball. And if the balls fall down, you lose. So and there's another thing in this template that there is a power up that if I can get it, yeah, I got it. And it bounced the ball uh, way uh, faster and move it to the higher position. So yeah, this is uh, how this uh, game works. And I got the power up and I'm trying to get the high score and mine is 211, cool. So now that we know this, uh, let's see how does this template work. So just like other templates, this template is also come with a tip. So I'm going to start with the tip. And as you can see, it asked me to uh, use the visual scripting to customize the game. So if you don't see this window, make sure to open this window using the visual scripting button. I'm going to click it. And now this window is open. So I'm going to make more space for myself so I can show you all the customizable stuff. So the first thing first is enable camera movement. So if I uncheck this, you can see the camera will not move anymore. So if you want to create the game that uh, you don't need the camera movement, but it's this kind of like a bouncing ball style game, you can check this uh, boolean off or if you want this to follow the ball you can uh, enable this uh, boolean the next one is move smoothness so as you can see there is some sort of move uh, smoothing to the uh, tracking the ball but if you want it to be much more smoother like i'm gonna go with something that you can see like point two so this is gonna be very smooth. As you can see, it's really slowly like tracking the ball that I don't see it and it fall down. Cool. Or if you want it to be to laser shot, I'm gonna go with five and this is gonna be kind of like really one-to-one -one with the ball. Cool. So I'm gonna move it back to one for now. And uh, let's see. The other examples and other uh, parameters that we can uh, modify. So next one is a background. So in this template, you also have an option to turn on the background. So you can see if you don't want to see the camera input, you can turn on the background and you have a background. And feel free to customize the background design. If you open the asset panel and background grid, you can customize this. For example, I'm going to make it red, white, or feel free to change the texture. So for now, I'm going to keep it on because it makes it easier to see what we're doing. The next one is platform. This, uh, this property allow me to change how many platform I have. So I'm going to disable my camera movement so you can see it. So I can start with one. So with one, I can only draw one platform and then you replace the other one. But if I change it to four, which is a maximum in here four, I can draw four platform. And then after that, it's gonna uh, replace the last one that we made. So yeah, depends on your game, feel free to uh, modify this uh, the way that you want so it allows you to customize the game much more cool and I'm gonna put this on one for now so we can see other customizable stuff so the platform scale so the scale that we're having in here from our platform is two by one uh, but I can change this to some value that you can see it better so now you can see it just like it much more wider uh, platform or feel free to just like play around with this value and see how does it work cool then there's the next one uh, I'm gonna move this back to two and continue cool 
The next one is a length. So when you tap, it automatically creates a minimum amount of the length of the platform for you, which is 0.5. So if I wanna just be bigger, when I just like tap on the screen, I can put three. And as soon as I tap, you can see I get the bigger platform. And the next one is like the maximum length. So it's eight, but maybe I just wanna be like, make it much more longer as you can see in here. So you can just like change it to any size that you want and works for your game. But for now, for our game, I'm gonna put it back to eight and maybe one. Yeah, eight and one works. Cool. The next thing is when the ball bounce the plat or uh, hit the platform, how much bounce we want to add to our ball. So if you put it on the zero, it should not bounce. It just stick there, but we can go crazy. So I'm gonna put 100 and it's gonna bounce the ball way to the air. So if you wanna make much more challenging game, you can do this and it's much more harder, I guess, or much more easier. I don't know. Yeah, just play around with it. Cool. And the next thing is, uh, how much time uh, do you want the power up to be spawned? So the first po uh, power up uh, automatically spawn ahead of you. So user can see there's a power up. But the next one is we wait from five to 10 seconds to, for that to be appear. So maybe we can reduce this time to two and four. So now I'm gonna reduce the power to 60 so we can see it better. So as soon as I get this power up, oops, I couldn't get it. It is challenging to get this ball. Oh my God. Cool. Now, after two or four seconds, we should see a new power up. Now we saw it. it's here. So you can change the time on how fast you want to get it or how, how slow. And the next one is the power up. How much power does this power up have? So I'm gonna uh, change this to 175. And now if we get this power up, it should just like launch the ball. It's just like, ooh, to the air. And oops, I missed that. Cool. So now we see that uh, I'm gonna bring back this to 65 for now. And the last one is, so as we can see, when we get the power up, there is a like a pose effect happening in this screen. So this pose effect is coming from this chromatic aberration. So right now it's just like showing five, like it start with the five uh, chromatic aberration and moves back to uh, zero. But if we want to change that, now we saw it. Now I'm going to change it to much higher, like 10. And now we're going to see much more like huge effect on the screen. Or if you don't like this effect, you can just like put zero. And then you should not see anything. I'm going to try to hit. The oh, yeah, I got it. So. You saw how this thing works. Um, so these are the customizable stuff that in the template. And the last thing that uh, it's good to know is you can also customize the external force of the ball. So if you want to ball to feel like a little bit slower, you can add more external force and it makes the ball like fall down uh, slower or feel free to just like modify this value and see which one works for you better. Cool. This was an overall, overall overview of this template on how does this work. And if you want to learn more, you can double click on this subgraph and go through all of these logic that it's here. So each logic has a comment that you can learn about it and improve the, your uh, visual scripting uh, skill. So you can see the comments and, and the logic of 
how this uh, template has been made. Cool. I hope you enjoyed this template and uh, feel free to share what you're creating with us. Thank you for watching. Thanks.